the chat room should be able to see you and hear you while I configure okay. for the show. Okay, very good. All right, so chat room, welcome to pre-show. That'll do, pig. I, I've, special... turned off, I've turned off Leo's microphone, so you won't be playing okay. Leo's sound effects anymore. Uh, okay, <laughs> good. With weird, uh, gizzy, fizzy, lifting drinks. Hey, Tech Dino. Becky. Uh, okay, so here's the timeline for that special issue. Subscribers will have it first, October 4th. Barnes and Noble will be able to release it uh, I, um, October 10th. Okay. And I think I was told that Barnes and Noble may alter the cover. You know, they'll probably have it'll probably say Barnes and Noble special. I have no uh, idea. Well, so on today's show, Jim Reed did a great job. The poll was great. Okay. Well, I'll talk about it on the show, make it part of the show. So people will be interested in doing it when we do our next one. And uh, a major sell. I hope it is. I hope it is. Um, this Don Bull was once Barnes and Noble. Really? Wow. Um yeah, and, and and Jim Reed uh, is going to be a chat room celebrity of the week. I, I thought since we're going to talk a lot about the poll, that he'll do it uh, next week. He's, he thinks he might not be able to be here next week, in which case he'll do it the week after. And then um, we have a second poll that he's going to put up, or he may have put it up already. Um, 55 people responded. I think that's good. Hopefully the next poll will get more. But I mean, it's the first time I, <laughs> I had any idea. Is anybody really watching this outside of 10 people in the chat room? So this is good. Uh, I don't There's think you can. There's at least 11 order. people in the chat room. Yeah, 11 people. In, oh, yeah. I underestimated by 10%. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I can get you one, Becky. Okay, Mr. D. Bartolo. I think that I have everything set up the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And uh, we are recording and we are on the stream. And I have the intro. And let me get my uh, thing so it's in the preview. So it'll be the next thing I play. Oh, and look at that. I, I, I shrunk somehow. I, I'm going to have to reframe that. Oh, no, I can I can show them my, my papers here. That'll work fine. Ah, ah, that's a, that's the Burke, that's a, that, that's the Burke framing. That's you know, oh, that's the way Burke, okay. Burke likes to just show his forehead. All right, so Saturday, September twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. That's today, and we are doing the show called the Giz Fizz, and it's episode four hundred and ninety four. And it begins. Well, let me push first. Up. That's okay. Okay, I got the buttons. I'm ready to go. Oh no, better turn these up. Gotta turn up these. Uh, yep. Gotta gotta turn up these so we can say. <laughs> yep. Okay, that works too. All right. I got everything. I think I've got everything ready to go. So the Giz Fizz episode four hundred ninety four for Saturday the twenty fourth of September begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Uh, uh, hey, Jamma B, the chat room says they're getting a, let me see what this says. There's a small window uh, on the screen on the upper right. I, I know what that is. 
I know exactly what that is. Okay. Uh, I'll make it go away, but we can still do a show with it. Okay. Can I just pick it up, or do you want no, to start no, it No, 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 no. We, we, we never stopped. We never stop. Okay. Yeah. All right. Welcome to regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. The Hop Girls bought a piano. Oh, and they left with the piano. Anyway, okay. We're going to do photos from George Davis that you caption. We have a couple of photos from Jamma B's trip that you caption. We have something brand new on this show. The chat room came through. We developed our own poll last week. 55 people took part. And N4BFR tallied the results. It's Jim Reed, if you really want to know. Um, and he made some graphics for us he did an amazing job okay actually he's going to be chat room celebrity of the week in the next week or two we're going to play our poll we're going to do some logo we're going to do i'm not saying you're stupid we're going to do a snappy answer and then play match game so let's jump right in with photo number one from george davis up oh, oh okay it is just a massive shot of all, oh, I thought they were all four leaf, of just clovers. Looks like all three leaf clovers, but it can be whatever you want, okay? A I, shot. I, the industrious in the chat room can find the four leaf clover. I'm sure it's there. Keep looking until okay. you find it. <laughs> okay. Which one is the four leaf clover? All right, let me look up. Uh, find the four leader, lucky day, unlucky fighting Irish, bunnies delight, grapes, find the four leaf one, average luck. Oh, it's clover, it's not duckweed. Don't be stealing me lucky charms. I'm looking over a three leaf clover. Find Waldo, Red Rover, Red Rover. Let's play in the clover. I know I left my four leaf clover in there somewhere. My luck is improving. There's got to be one in there somewhere. Do you feel lucky today? Great. Of all the places to lose my four-leaf clover. That's very funny. Lucky Charms, all one color. Uh, I see green grapes. They're going very fast. I saw a leprechaun run into this clover field. I'm overlooking a four-leaf clover. They're all four-leaf. Very optimistic. Uh, clover the field. Where's the Irish Waldo? Anyone see my rolling papers? Uh, Kitty Clover potato chips. Hey, my Lucky Charms only has clovers. What happened to the other ones? And we'll end with Giz One. Find the four leaf clover and you will get some luck. Uh, okay. And George says, for a large patch of clover. My caption is, hey, Johnny, just open your eyes. Believe you me, you wouldn't have a problem finding some four-leaf clovers. Uh, okay, photo two. Oh, wow. A sandcastle. You know, this looks like a cheat, <laughs> but it can be whatever you want. It's a castle in the sand, but to my eye, it's not a sand castle. But it's whatever you want. Uh, go to it. Ceramic sand castle. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, let's see. Up. Oh, you should see the bucket they used to mold this. But I wanted a castle in the sky. Resin castle. A castle. Sand castle be. We got stepped on. C. This took second place at the Sand Castle making contest. Castles made of sand. Jimi Hendrix left left the real estate. The real or left the real castle at home. New Legos. Even sand castles are rigged. My castle by the sand. No, it's really sand, says Kylo Tech. King Charles' new home. Sand B and B. Mother Hubbard's childhood home. <laughs> The sand castle in the middle, free pab castle. 
Micro Sandcastle for Queen Elizabeth fall into the sea eventually. Uh, what they? Oh my God! They're going so fast. The uh, this wedding cake ruined my teeth. It's printed. You can't fool me. I sanded this castle with my Dremel. Says Strings. Uh, artificial sand castle. This castle was made by a designer. A foolish man builds his house upon the sand. Look out for the big wave. Start a fish tank kit. Tank and water not included. Just add fish. Michelangelo goes to the beach. No flags or moat. Robin Sparkle second hit. Sand castles in the sand. And we'll end with number 33. AI generated castle BS. Okay. Uh, George says for the sand castle and small plastic bucket, my caption is, I'm proud to have come in second place this year, where last year I came in third. I'm improving. That's a match. We had a second place in the chat room. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Photo three. Before we show photo three, Dick, I must say. That if yes. you looked at my photo roll on my camera, you will find many pictures that look like this, except the subject is black. Oh, what a cutie. Is that your cat? No, no, but I have pictures of my cat that look just like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, see. <laughs> I see. Except my cat's a, a long haired black cat, but. Oh, okay. I got the picture now. I got the picture now. No, you got the picture now. Um, okay. When are we, are we playing for this picture? This is from George, yes. Oh, it is? Okay. Number three. Number three. This is number three. Okay. It's just a cat lounging on a sofa. Cat lounging on a sofa. As cats. Um, we had one named Roscoe. Looks just like my cat, George. One cat doesn't seem to live at my house. Real life Garfield. He ate a fall leaf clover. Uh, cat fee, uh, catnap fever for the wine. Uh, catnap nap, cat nip nap, nap. Uh, I got to hold down the sofa. Nappy time. Time for my 27th nap today. Give me cat napping. Uh, what? Are they going fast again? Cat exercise time. This cat is exhausted from doing nothing all day. Someone bring me a beer. Cat nip, nap, cushion, couching. Ginger cat so sweet. Thanks for make. Whoop, there they go. Cat on nun tails. Still does more work than Burke. Thanks for keeping the seat warm. I shouldn't have eaten the entire lasagna. Cat naps on the couch should be mandatory. Nice looking pillow, says J. Mez. Never let a cat be. Time to tickle the tummy. And we'll end with Mandy the Clown. Quiet, I'm exercising. <laughs> okay, George says, for the small cat resting on the back of a couch and thinking, the cat is thinking. Um, okay, small cat resting on the back of a couch and thinking. And we will end with, and George said, he's suffering from cat scratch fever. Morris, small. Looks like the seat of a couch to me. And, and uh, George said, I'm really glad. Oh, okay. Oh, this is good. I'm really glad you rescued me. I used to live outside and I didn't have much food to eat. Thanks, George. Oh, maybe this is George's rescued cat. That's great. Oh, so, so the the cat the cat rescued George, and George wasn't having enough to eat, and the cat fed George. Is that how I understood? Cause yeah, that George pretty was, much. George was thanking the cat at the end for rescuing him. It sounded like. Um. Oh, it sometimes, sounds that sometimes way, that, that it? relationships work like that. <laughs> it does. Okay. Photo four. Uh, whoa, someone's buying a house. It's a floor plan of a, I mean, I live in a two and a half room apartment. This has a living room. This has two bedrooms, a garage, 
A lobby and a studio. A lobby? Oh my gosh. <laughs> a lobby? A lobby. Uh, I had seen a lobby in a house before. Boy. Oh, I, I'll tell you after this thing, remind me of a lobby in a house uh, and a garden. There's, oh, that's very funny. There's no bathroom. Wow. I hope someone didn't spend $5 million and then find out. Two bedroom, no bathroom. A lot of people, no bath. Where's the veranda? Bobby's dream house. The kitchen has its own door. They call it a floor plan, but yet there's nothing about the plan for the floors. Blueprint of Dickie's future house. Burke's mansion. Hidden stairway to the tech cave. Floor plan from hell. No closets. This is a plagued uh, 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 outhouses uh, outside. They'll get an outhouse. House in the middle, real clean with an outhouse. Hey, where's the bathroom? Uh, these doors better not be drawn to scale. <laughs> okay. Um, bathroom if the, 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 the doors could be drawn to scale and they could be very small rooms. <laughs> the bathroom is down the street at the Exxon station. Um, new cat house. All the dog swings are, all the door swings are bad. And Geek Wannabe will end with him, my next bachelor pad. So obviously he can live without a bathroom. Let's see if George pointed that out. George said, for the picture of a blueprint of a house floor plan, my caption is, Mrs. Adams, you used to tell me what you wanted your future home to look like. Does my plan fill your dream? I think it's a nightmare, as the chat room pointed out. There's no bathroom. Unless those two things up there with next to the kitchen, one might be a closet and one might be a bathroom. Um anyway, a lobby in an in a house, kind of a lobby, a kitty call aisle. I don't know, is to tell the truth, something anniversary or something. And she had a do at her house and her apartment, the elevator opens on like a landing, okay? Like a tile landing with a little railing around it. And then you walk down three steps into her apartment. And I only saw that one other time when I visited Art James, you know, Art James was a, another uh, game show host. He lived at the Apthorpe, which is another really high-end uh, building. And he had the same thing. You get off, the, the elevator actually opens in your apartment. And that's why they had that little landing so that someone doesn't get off the elevator and step on your rug. <laughs> they get off and they step on like the like the indoor terrace. And then I guess you say, you may come down the three steps uh, and enter my apartment. Uh, anyway, okay. Photo four, uh, photo five. Wow. Uh, it's a heart in the sh shaped by fruit. Okay. At least it looks like a heart to me. I guess it means, well, it means whatever you want. Okay, we have all kinds of fruit. And to my eye, they uh, form a heart. Bananas and grapes and kiwis, <clears throat> strawberries, pineapple, et cetera. Uh, val <laughs> Might be a valentine, <clears throat> a valentine for common Miranda. Edible fruit gone bonkers, Dr. Mom. Love, for the love of fruit, AI generated. Uh, I love fruit, common Miranda heart, common Miranda's actual heart, uh, full balance diet for a good heart, fruity heart or hearty fruit, uh, fruit of the groom, common Miranda lost her hat. This is how a farmer gives away his heart, heart healthy fruit bowl. Uh, where's the dragon fruit? Chiquita banana's other hat, healthy heart, noisy butt. Sweetheart, 
the fruit to the heart of my dreams. This will keep your car going. Where's the beef? Whose meal is it anyway? Um, these are called rental Olympics. I'm not sure what that is. If you love fruit, you'll love this heart. Uh, produce of heart. And we'll end with dwindle. The lies I tell my cardiologist <laughs> when he asked what I eat. Uh, okay, George said, for the beautiful and colorful collection of fruit, my caption is, for your barbecue party, Barbara, I made this centerpiece for your table. Okay, and uh, photo six. Oh, okay, so stack rolls and rolls of toilet paper. Rolls and rolls of toilet paper. Um, Myra says, that's my toilet paper stash during quarantine. COVID stockpile part two, toilet paper, carbon fiber, a fantasy picture, a fortune in 2020, COVID architecture, pre-COVID stock, my cupboard during the pandemic, first attempt at fireproof wall. You'll need these after eating all that fruit. Toilet paper house. God, they're going fast. Stock up now. Our prices are lowish. Found in a supply closet in the house in the middle. Who smokes all the paper? A shaman wall. That's my bowling wall. Asteroid survival kit. We'll see shortly how the Gizfiz crew feels about going end over end or under. Oh, that's right. That's one of the questions. Uh, and for BFR, investment for the next lockdown. And we'll end with Magoo. Ready for the next quarantine. God, I hope there's no next quarantine. Uh, George said, for many rolls of toilet paper. My caption is, you know, Ray, now that COVID has slowed down, no need to purchase so much toilet paper. The store manager said the warehouse is half full of it. Uh, okay. And now on to interesting facts. Compliments of George Davis. Um, what state was the first to require license plates? What state was the first state to require licenses? Uh, I don't know. What, what state did Henry Ford? Michigan, right? Seems right to me. Delaware, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, Illinois, Mass, Connecticut. I'll just go with Michigan because that's where Ford started. Although he would be very against having license plates, I think. Uh, Jamie B., what's your guess? The first state uh, to yeah, have no, license I'm with plate? you, Michigan. Michigan, okay, Myra? No. Delaware. Okay. Oh, New York State was the first state. New York to require... State. Yeah. Weird. Um, all right. Fact of fiction it is illegal to put tomatoes and clam chowder. What? Uh, George, I'll just read it exactly how it's written here. It's illegal to put tomatoes and clam chowder in Miss in Massachusetts. So <laughs> it's illegal to put tomatoes and clam chowder in Massachusetts. He's probably missing a word or two. It's yeah, okay. Let's say together. That might be. Anyway. 
Oh, this this sounds like Ed Sullivan said. Oh, someone sang um, September song, and after they sang it, Ed Sullivan said, "That's beautiful." And it's interesting that September song was not written in September. It was written in Germany. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he was a little weird. Um, uh, true or false? Well, okay, we'll play fact the crap. Alaska had a town with a cat mayor named Stubby. Fact or crap? Alaska had a town with a cat mayor named Stubby. The, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and Stubby could see Russia from there. Wow. Only two people said crap. Jamma B, fact of crap? I'm going to the game. chat room. I'm not going to deny the chat room. The chat room's right. Okay. Myra? Fact. Fact. Okay. It is indeed a fact. Um, what percentage of llamas live in Oregon? This is very <laughs> weird. weird. A weird question. <laughs> this is very weird. What percentage of llamas? <laughs> uh, oh, that's interesting. Let's just say the percentage of llamas that live in Oregon in the United States. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm not okay, sure. Like okay. Uh, we're talking about llamas, Mandy. <laughs> we ain't getting specific. They mostly live in Utah, says Loke. Llamas. Jim B, any guess? What percentage of llamas? Uh, three. Live in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Myra? Oh, what did you post? Five percent. You know, someone got it exactly right. Oh, a, oh, wow! A couple of people. Elmo is correct, and I saw another twenty-five percent also go past. <laughs> a dwindle. Yeah, George, these are great. Thank you for contributing, everybody. Well, you're the one that did the most work. Well, wait a minute. We have. We have Jim Reed doing a lot of work now. Uh, thanks for contributing. Everyone stay healthy and happy. We'll do this all again next time by George. George, thank you. I, I really think we should mention Burke. Burke does a lot of work, too. Burke Burke does. He uh, Burke uh, did very well while you were away. He makes things work here. Burke makes things yeah. work. No, he, he was very good. Um, oh, you had two pictures you wanted to caption, Jim V? I do. Or, or you just wanted to show? Well, I have uh, two pictures I want to show after the two pictures I want to caption. Uh, the pictures okay. I want to caption are from the concert last night. They're okay. not really spoilers if you're a Roger Waters fan, but okay. uh, they feature uh, pigs. So here's the first one. Okay. Uh, we're looking for, for uh, captions, right? Yeah, people can comment on this picture. Oh, you okay. You want to comment the, on this? What the heck is going on? Yeah. Um, pigs in concert. When pigs fly. Don't get ahead of yourself. We have another picture. Show the picture of Neptune. He'll retire when pigs fly. Pigs finally fly. Pigs finally flew. Pigs in space. When pigs fly, pig Floyd, <laughs> pigs over Miami, pigs over moon. It's actually pig under moon, isn't it? Uh, pigs building a wall, pigs on the wing. Another one, pigs finally fly. It's a concert. They always have a flying pig. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's go. Time, time to go to the next one. They, okay. They, they, the flying pig came up and said hello. Oh, wrong button. Oh. There it is. Hello. Pig. Oh my. 
Wow. So how big? Oh, we're gonna. It's this caption. We want need captions. Yeah, uh, sure. If you want. Okay, a pick of clips. That's funny. Uh, how did it get the moon attached to the pig? Don't bogard that joint. What does the shadow look like? That's no pig. That's a hedgehog. Punch the pig, win some money. 30 feet. Pink Floyd does Frampton. Do you feel like I do? Pigs at space, laser beams. Pig auditioning to be a minion. It's a devil pig, earth ham, demon hog, pig nada. Oh, that's funny. Pinata. Uh, diamond pig. Olympic, Olymp uh, Olympic medalist. Uh, Macy's pig escapes. Doss bacon. National Pork Association, pre-bacon, pig transit, a pork kind moon, bacon sandwich. Two seconds later, the pig fell and smashed that guy. New float for Macy's Parade. Helium pig, and we'll end with Martron, deviled ham. Har, 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 har. Yeah, no, so, uh, you can see Roger down there singing on the stage, and uh, that pig came right up to us and said hi. How um, big is that pig? Oh, probably uh, 30 feet long by 20 feet tall. Wow. Yeah, it's a big pig. Wow. Uh, it, it, it's it, so it, close. Fly, yeah, well, at the end, I mean, when it came over to our area, it decided to come and look right at me, and so I took a picture. Uh, wow. I don't know if maybe some of the fans were watching um, Leo's show uh, pre-Tech Guy. He was showing some pictures of the concert. Uh, there is a picture of this pig and Lisa together that uh, I don't know if the people saw it. It's a very interesting picture. I don't have it, but if I can come up with it, I will share it with you, or I'll give it to Burke to share next week because I will okay. be in Las Vegas next weekend for the last of my Roger Waters shows. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so um, here's a, here's some groups. Here's, uh, here's uh, Micah, Sebastian, Lisa and Leo. On the oh, floor. just thought wow. I'd share that. Uh, who's who's the guy next to Micah? Sebastian. He works in continuity. So, he he's uh, he works in the office right across the hall here. Oh, okay, great. And okay, continuity. And okay, uh, that's great. Here, here's uh, Sebastian and Mike uh, took off, so they weren't available for this group picture. Oh. Alex joined up with you guys. Alex uh, went to Portland. Alex went to Tacoma. Alex skipped Sacramento, but Alex showed up in San Francisco. Wow. And Alex is flying home to Seattle today, so he will be unavailable for match game. Okay. There's a funny okay. story. We're right, we're right into the concert. Alex gets a, fo a text from Lisa. And Lisa's going, what are you doing here? Apparently, when we were driving to the concert, we passed Leo and Lisa driving to the concert. And Leo saw in his side mirror, Alex, in the passenger seat of the car next to him. He's like, what is Alex? And then he realized oh, it was Russell's so car and that we were all going to the concert. But Lisa and Leo were like, what is Alex? Because I didn't tell anybody that Alex was coming. So oh, that's so surprise. funny. Oh, that's thank funny. you for uh, uh, Yes. Uh, the, uh, the guy behind you works at Twit too, right? No, the guy behind Kim? Name. The guy behind Kim? No, behind you. Oh, Russell? Yeah. Russell's yeah. our IT guy. He, yeah. He, okay. And he drove Kim and Alex and I. Okay. And uh, Victor and Victor's son. Victor's an editor. So with the mask. Oh, that's yes, Victor yes, yes. Victor's with son. the mask on, yes. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's Victor and his son, okay. uh, Jerome. Okay. Yay. Okay, thanks for letting me show you these little pictures. No, that's great. That's great. Um, okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, this this worked out great. Um, last week, I thought, you know, why are we playing for stats about other people? Why don't we do our own poll? And the chat room made up questions. And I asked, well, who's going to put all this together? And and for BFR or Jim Reed said i'll do it all right and he did a, a a great job as you'll see by um the graphics that come up so question number one uh, 55 people played okay oh there oh he look at he did all of this this is great uh we're, we're gonna have a, a round two <clears throat> soon uh oh this is why well, don't show the answers 
Oh, well, we can't play for that one. Um, I, we're we're going to play for. Okay, I I didn't understand. I thought everybody had. A... Yeah, no, no, we're going to play for these. Um, okay. The question was, what was your most used gadget? So, chat room, what do you think most people said? Your most used gadget. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Laptop, condom, computer, radio, a pencil, phone, 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 computer, phone, 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 nail clipper, toilet, cell phone, coffee maker, slide rule, weed whacker. Or shoes, gangsters, tooth. No, okay. You know, I don't. Mario, I'm not going to count. Say? I'm not going to count my computer as a gadget because I'm sitting in front of my computer all day. But I'm my oh, okay. by far Kindle. You're you're by far a Kindle. Okay. I mean, I, I I read a couple hours every day, so yeah. Nothing. And my uh, and my get uh, 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 iPad. Okay, we can go to the results now. The little results like smartphone way way ahead, thirty eight percent iPad, just 9%, and a computer, not even with Jamma B sitting in front of one all day, just 8%. And then other responses, the thing my Swiss, uh, thing on my Swiss knife for getting stones out of horses' shoes, a jar opener, fluke multimeters, a I, water kettle. I have a couple of fluke multimeters, but I rarely, Do you? rarely okay. use them. <laughs> Uh, water kettle, knitting needles. Oh, that must be Dr. Mom. Uh, okay. Oh, this was it. This is really interesting. Um, how many streaming services do you subscribe to? Um, all right, let, let's play for I don't know how to do this now. All right, play for. The number most people put down, it could be zero, it could be one to three, four to six, or seven to ten. Okay, how many streaming services do you subscribe to? Or eleven None? plus. Eleven plus is also an option. Uh, oh, eleven plus is an option too. How many streaming services do you subscribe to? Zero, one to three, four to six. Or seven to ten, four to six, or eleven plus, or eleven plus one, one four to seven. Uh, um, what's your guess? How? What did you say, Mara? Um, of course, you. I think I, I, think I said three, three, two. I don't know. Okay, so you were in the one to three category, and Jamma B, what was your answer? I would say one to three. I mean, I personally only subscribe to one. Yeah. I, hey, uh, I'd show the slide. What's fascinating is one to three, one. But look at four to six almost equals it. I'm <laughs> how many streaming? Sir? I, I mean, I was astounded by that. That 38% of our 55 viewers or participants subscribe to four to six streaming services wow where, where, where are the 11 plus people i got i got promoting <laughs> the 11 plus people where are they <laughs> oh mike b said we're cord cutters that's why uh that i thought that was fascinating um okay uh all right we'll we'll play for We'll, we'll play for the uh, a percentage, okay? You'll you'll put down a percentage as your answer. If you work, would you work from home forever if you could? What percentage of people said, I would work home forever if I could? Okay? We asked, would you work from home forever if you could? What percentage... <laughs> Dr. Mont said 100% of them. Uh, what percentage of people said, I would work from home forever if I could? 
Well, it's very high. Uh, well, now it's all over the place. Magoo is 90%. Morgan's just 30%. Becky, 42%. Jim, would be what's your answer? If you could work from home forever, would you? Uh, what what would you, I guess? I would, absolutely. And I have not okay, had the Lyra? opportunity to work from home during all of this. I was the guy who got to come in all the time. Yes. Um, if I could, no. Wow. Myra said if she could, no. Okay, show the slide. If you could work from home forever, would you? S almost 72%. Yes. So so along with but, that premise and that question, I suppose we get to live forever also. So take that into account. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, that was interesting. The most skipped question. So I guess a lot of people in our chat room uh, are not currently working. Oh, Orient what is the proper orientation of a toilet paper roll? Over the top or down under? All right. What was the overwhelming answer? Over the top or down under? Okay. Overwhelming. Actually, I, I, let, let's, play, let's play for the percentage, okay? Um, over the top one, okay, by how, what was the percentage of people who said, uh, my toilet paper comes over the top? All right. We're using 100% as the uh, goal here. Wow, 99.9, 80, 99. Wow. Wow, Dr. Mont says only about half, 80, 90. Whoa. I I Jim B, what what what's your answer? I'm able to utilize the toilet paper regardless of which way it falls. <laughs> uh okay. So chat room. Oh show show how many people. A lot of you are very 87% of the people said the paper goes over the top. And I, I believe uh, Jim had a little diagram there, but you know what it looks like. 87% uh, <laughs> toilet paper goes over the top. I did see an answer that it's, it's not an issue in my home, but there are cat owners. And over the top for the cat owners is going to be toilet paper all over the floor versus oh. behind the thing where the cat doesn't even do anything. Because it just oh, that, you know, that's very... My, that's my very cats haven't found the toilet roll yet, so that's not been an issue. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, also, I thought, I thought this was very interesting. Android or Apple, let's play for... A percent, uh, let's see. All right. How, how many people said Apple? Let's do it that way. We asked your phone preference, operating system preference, Apple or Android. What one? And yeah, you put a percentage down, put a percentage down for people who said Apple. Okay. A percentage of people who said Apple, 75%, 35%. 60, 75, 65, 31. Uh, it's there, most people going very high percentage for Apple. Matron, just 31%. Rufus, 57. Android, 70%. Wow. Many of us here that watch 80% Apple, Chumley. Mandy Klein said, I think it's very close to 50-50. Becky says Apple, 64%. What, what's your guess, Jim and B? Well, I can't guess. You didn't play I, the poll, right? I'm seeing the answer right in front of me, so I can't guess. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, okay. But I would have guessed 50-50. Uh, I would have guessed 50-50 because the majority in the United States is iPhone, but we're a more techie kind of audience, and... I think Android uh, gives techie kind of people more flexibility. 
Oh, that, oh, that's very interesting. Well, that explains this answer. Put the slide up. Google, Android, almost 54% to 46%. The, uh, y- your answer is very good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, a yeah. Spe- we're a special audience. We like techie things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, techie things yeah, that uh, give us a lot of options, which, you know, Apple locks it down, where Google, <laughs> do whatever you like. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm an Android fan, but I'm not that techy. But I, I just don't like the fact that it seems like Apple says exactly what you can and can't do. And so I will tell I you st- my story as soon as we're done with the poll. Okay, very good. And this next one, very few people answered. Um, uh, but see, but it uh, wasn't the work at home one was the highest unanswered one. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, If you came back as an animal, what would you come back as? Let's just play for the top answer. What did most people say? If you could come back as an animal, what animal would you come back as? (laughs) A llama. Then you'd have to live in whatever that you'd have to live in Oregon. Oregon? Yeah, Oregon. (laughs) Yeah. Dog, 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 bird, dog, a cat's not an answer. Uh, elephant got to be a dog, says Mandy the Clown. <laughs> Vav wants to come back as Steve Gibson. Uh, dog, dog, dog. Mara, you said cat? No, actually, I think I skipped this question. You skipped this question. Jamma B? Uh, I think I would say cat and I'll tell you why, because a dog has a lot of work to do. A dog has to pay attention and be loyal and loving and, you know, just there all the time. And the dog, well, the cat could just take a nap. Well, you happen to, you you happen to be right. That's the way the chat room thinks. I was amazed. I thought dog was just going to be a landslide ahead. Cat, 18%. Dog, just ten percent. Four people answered eagle. Yeah, and yeah, then someone a, answered, pretty, "I want good. to. I want to be a naked mole rat, a banana slug, <laughs> a cat, so I could get away licking oh, myself." I forgot oh, about that. Boy, I don't know. Dogs, oh, dogs get away with licking themselves. A werewolf and a skunk. Chat room, this is this is great. And, yeah. and Jim, this is, this is skunk. Uh, Jim, you have to tell us. Uh, I forgot what the plan is. I know there's a poll too, but if you want to skip a week, we can so that we don't have all the fun in two weeks in a row. What I thought we'd do, if this is all right with you, is unless you put if the poll is up already, that's fine. If the poll is not up already, um. Let's wait to put it up the day your your chat room celebrity of the week, and then we can play for the answers the week after your chat room celebrity, which will be either next week or the week after, depending on your schedule. Um, <laughs> J two eighty six says a psychiatrist would have concerns <laughs> looking at the answers the chat room gives. I I always say that uh, gives fizz. Uh, it is an incredible public service for keeping this many loonies indoors for at least an hour That's on a job. Saturday. That's our job. Yeah. Oh, how many days a week do you have one drink or more? How many days a week do you have one drink or more? And we'll just play for that statistic. How many people said, uh, how many do you have one drink or more? Okay, we're playing for that. One drink or more or zero. All right, let's do it that way. Do you think it was, uh, the percentage was zero or one drink or more? I know I've I've confused this a lot. Uh, Zero, eight drinks a week, three. Uh, water included? No, alcohol. Drinks of alcohol. Yes, 
the, the, the survey did say that. When I hear drinks, I just think alcohol. How many days a week do you have one or more drinks of alcohol? Elmo zero. The crowd, Chumley says the crowd is going to say zero to one. Geek Wannabe said one or more one. Zero, zero, wow, zero, zero. More than one, less than a hundred. <laughs> um, this sort of surprised me too. Um, let's put that slide up. 60% of the chat room does not drink. Well, that makes so sense. That makes sense to me because it tastes horrible. It makes you stupid. And then it makes you sick. I don't understand. I don't understand why people would put that stuff in their body. Well, then what explains the bizarre behavior of the chat room if you can't say you're drunk? All right, sixty percent. That was that was Good amazing. <laughs> finally, I got a. Finally, I got jam and beat. It's <laughs> That's a good point. Um. Um. Okay. What one? I'll give you the choices. You tell me what one. We asked favorite type of pizza. Uh, oh, this is fa fascinating. Uh, Jim said one of the three questions no one skipped. Everybody, <laughs> everybody answered That's this question. That's a pizza question. opinion. That's a pizza. I, I'm, this looking, is I'm a, looking at the third option here. and I, I don't, Is it the third option the same as the first option? Um, you know, it is a little confusing. <laughs> All right. th 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 these are the we'll, we'll just play for the options that that are on the sheet okay question was your favorite type of pizza uh which one of these won number one new york style pizza number two chicago style number three thin and crispy uh is that what it says and thin and crispy and four are oh, other styles. Oh, I misread it. I misread it. I thought it said thin and crappy, but you're right. Uh, okay. Uh, so New York style, Chicago style, thin and crispy, a different style. Uh, okay. It, I think it is a little confusing. Let's uh, show the answer card new york style i uh, see i took new york style to mean a typical pizza chicago style to me is the deep dish pizza but i prefer thin and crispy and i didn't even know it had a name other than thin and crispy uh but thin and crispy one and, and chumley I, I agree with you chumley that thin and crispy is almost New York style. In which case, that would be 71%. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Interesting it's, evolution it, I've gone through. I've always had been a Chicago, you know, cakey, sweet, kind of thick pizza lover. Numero Uno was a chain that had those. Yeah, things. it still is. And they, well, in Southern California, they went away, but... Uh, oh, okay. And it's kind of sweet. The crust is kind of, you know, it's got, got a, I call it a cake pizza. I loved it so much. Um, but then I discovered that I don't gain as much weight if I eat the really thin ones. So now I really love the thin ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I tech, I, I gr agree. Uh, deep Dish is Chicago. Uh, th uh, this is such great fun. Okay. Final question. Um, and I guess we'll go for a percentage here. Okay. We asked, what's your morning wake-up beverage? And I'll, I'll read them, and then you guess the percentage by which coffee won. Okay, so coffee won. It was up against tea, Coca-Cola, which Dennis drinks for breakfast, juice, other. Now, coffee did win by what percentage? Okay, we're play it was a hundred percent. What percentage of the fifty-five people who answered answered coffee? Coffee 
80%, what 90%, 78%, 70, Dr. Mom, 99%. Wow, very, very high. Jamma B, you didn't play, right? Oh, you not. have the answers there. Yeah. yeah. You have the answer. Yeah. Also, this one sort of surprised me a lot. Excuse me. Um, I th I thought coffee was going to be at least 80%. <laughs> have you met us? Jubbly says. Uh, okay, put the slide up. Addiction. Oh, what? Well, now we're uh, addicted. I'm not addicted to coffee. I just have to have it in the morning. That's all. Um, <laughs> only 51%. Said coffee. I guess I and I, I, I don't know. I, I I consider myself fortunate. Um, in my formative years, I had a girlfriend who could not stand the smell or the taste of coffee. So I mean, I had I enjoyed it, but uh, I never picked up the habit. So I only drink wow it. for the wow. longest time it was the diet coke. But since June twenty first of twenty nineteen, I have only drunk water. Forever or just for breakfast? Oh, only. Uh, all day, uh, anytime. I, I you only drink water? Uh, maybe once or twice a year, I'll have some orange juice, but otherwise, only water. Yes. Really? Does your doctor know this? Uh, my doctor does not know this, but my doctor years and years ago told me that I should not drink so much diet coke. So I'm sure my doctor uh, would be happy. Okay. Okay. I think the American Beverage Institute is going to be very upset with this. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that, that was it. That, um, so basically. I, I, I can tell you the price is right because I use a Brita filter out of my yeah. closet. And it's very refreshing. It, it's great. It's great. Um, so, Jim, Jim, tell us, uh, t tell me. Uh, I know. I know. Jim is in the, the chat room. Uh, is the next poll up yet? Because we could put it up now and just play for it when we want to. Uh, Jim has provided the questions, but not the. Oh, there, uh, let's see. Dicky D, the next poll is there's ready. A link. There's a link. So. You, you, oh, okay. You, you, so you the link is already. You, you can't click on it, but I will show it to you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that's the next. Um, the next survey. Okay. And you know about these things. People can answer it now, and we don't have to pick the results up for two weeks. Is that right, Jamma B? Or however long, whatever you set. However long. Okay. If you want to do the survey now. It's uh, surveymonkey.com slash R slash capital W, capital G, capital N, capital H, 8, capital K, capital X. Okay. And, it, and uh, they just shared it in the chat room. This was really, this was great. Uh, Jim, thank you so much for doing this. Um, chat room, did you, was that fun for the, you, chat room? I is, learned anybody, a lot. Is anybody? Yeah. No, I did too. I did too. I think it, I think it's super. There were some surprising um, results for our, uh, I mean, the yeah. Android one makes sense, right? But yes. cats over dogs? Yay. No, that, that was fascinating. Okay, we'll do a couple of logo. And well, let's not stay too long. I got a concert to go to tonight. Okay, we'll be out of here in. Well, let's just do match game. You want to? We'll make it an hour. So, can you spend seven more minutes? Oh, of course. I will spend okay. as much time as you will take, but that just cuts <laughs> down on my nap before the concert. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's only uh, three o'clock out there. Uh, let me just give Dennis a ring here. And and I'm uh, not calling Alex because he already told me he's going to be on a plane one week. Yeah, that he's game. not doing it. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, so I did uh, let it ring to him. Portland, Tacoma, Sacramento, and then San Francisco. Then tonight is San Francisco. And then Tuesday and Wednesday are Los Angeles. And then Vegas will be my last. Wow. So how many Saturdays are you going to miss? Well, I miss next weekend, then I'm back for two or three weekends, and then I will be gone for th another three weekends uh, wow, okay. recovering and, with a new hip. Okay. And Burke is available for all those? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, um, uh, let's see. Let's, we have... You need pen? Oh, I didn't tell Here my story. I, I got to when to... we talk about Android and Apple phones. I didn't tell my story. So, uh, iPhone 14... Uh, I, uh, I got the, I got the, uh, iPhone seven. That's my iPhone, iPhone seven, you know, and the iPhone 14 just came out. Oh, I said, I'm showing it to me. I'm not showing it to you. There's my iPhone seven. Uh, and the okay. iPhone 14 came out a couple of weeks ago, but I was on the road when it came out and I wouldn't be able to pre-order it at a store because I wouldn't be able to go to a store when it came. And then I couldn't pre-order it to like send to my sister's house because if it came late anyway. So I, when I ordered it, it's going to come like in October 17th. But oh, okay. yesterday, just to take a, take a chance, I went up to the Santa Rosa Apple Store. Got They opened at 10. I was there at 9.30. I was the first person in the store when they opened up. They had exactly one. And not only, <laughs> not only did they have a iPhone 14 Pro Max... I keep I keep showing myself to myself. I'm not showing it to anybody else. Not only did they have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, but it was exactly they all had one. But it was, it was exactly the one I had on order, the purple 512. <laughs> oh my god! So I got the color, the size I want, and they and I was the only one to get one yesterday, and and I was able to take wow. pictures at the Roger Waters concert with my fancy new phone. Yay. That's great! And boy, are the pictures much better than the pictures I was taking with my iPhone 7. That's great. Uh, okay, we're gonna play match game. Yolanda said, "My new boyfriend said we were going to have an intimate dinner party. He wasn't kidding. It took place in blank. My boyfriend said we're going to have an intimate dinner party. He wasn't kidding." It took place in blank. Uh, um, I'm going to write sort of a humorous answer. <laughs> Yolanda said, my boyfriend told me we're going to have an intimate dinner party. He wasn't kidding. It took place in blank. Let me see if I got any matches. Uh, yep, I got matches. Uh, 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 um. Okay, Jamma B, we'll start with you. New boyfriend said we're going to have an intimate dinner party. Wasn't kidding. It took place in the closet. Got some matches. Uh, Myra said it took place oh, in a cave. Anybody uh, say cave? I don't know, but I'm going to give her a ten. Okay. Yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I got some matches that took place in a bathroom. Oh, yeah, Dennis? I, I didn't know, quite know what to say, but it was something monumental. Oh. <laughs> it, took, it was so intimate, it took place in my brain. <laughs> um... Oh my God! Cheap Charlie is so cheap. How inexpensive is he? <laughs> cheap Charlie is so cheap. For Christmas, he gave his wife a box of steel wool, and told her to knit herself a blank. Cheap Charlie was so cheap. He gave his wife a box of steel wool, and told her to knit herself a blank. Oh, oh, I think this is easy, but it sounds like it's not at this end. Oh, I already got a match. A dishwasher, uh, a new husband, a scarf, a car, coat of armor. Uh, Charlie, we need socks, a steel coat, a jewelry factory, a pair of undies, a sweater. Uh, chain mail. Oh, that's not how you spell mail. No, it's not. But I like it. Yeah. Chain mail, armor, sweater, a new thong, uh, braces. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I saw two matches go by. I'll go first. Cheap Joe was so cheap. He gave his wife a box of steel wool and told her to knit herself a car. Um, okay, Myra said. Sorry. It's oh, stupid answer. Oh, take the steel wool and make yourself a Brillo pad. <laughs> Funny, but no match. <laughs> Jim, let's see. Yeah. Knit herself a wall <laughs> against Mexico. <laughs> Jamma B, you said knit herself a chain mail. That's it misspelling too, right? Oh. No, M A L E is a misspelling. Okay. Chain mail. M A I L, I'm pretty sure is correct. I will look it up. Chat room, chain mail, is that correct? Charlie, one more okay. question and then you. Okay. Oh my God. Did you hear about the weakest man in the world? No. <laughs> he was so weak, he got a hernia from picking up a blank. Oh, this is easy. Did you hear about the weakest man in the world? Chat room, come on, don't let me down. I want a lot of matches. He got a hernia just from picking up a blank. There are two good answers. I'm hoping you got the one I have. The weakest man in the world got a hernia just from picking up a... Oh, no, I didn't get. Oh, I did get. Okay. Um, okay, Jamma B. Did you hear about the weakest man in the world? He got a hernia just from picking up a chihuahua. <laughs> well, they don't, they don't okay. weigh very much. Yeah, Charlie, you're next. I uh, got. Uh, Weakest man in the world got a hernia picking up a skinny hooker. <laughs> Myra said, uh, an atom picking up an atom. Hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom. Ah, that's the lightest of all the atoms. Yeah, wow. Jamma B knew. Myra is it's taking all, a. It's also the leakiest of all the atoms, which is why the hydrogen fueled Artemis spacecraft has not been able to do its tests because its hydrogen keeps leaking. Yes, you know I was taking organic chemistry. Myra is taking a chemistry class. Organic, organic, organic chemistry. Organic. Much harder than yeah. regular chemistry. She had a she had an atom sandwich for lunch because it's <laughs> organic. I'm the happiest nerd on the planet. Wow. And and Jamma B knew all that stuff too. It was so weird he got a hernia from picking up a feather. Okay. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> can, can you hear? Can you guys hear this guy, Charlie? Oh, did you want to be on camera? Is that what it is? Oh my God! Oh my God! Pick me up. Okay. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, it's Charlie the dog. Yay! Oh, okay. Lighting fell over, but that's okay. Oh, Charlie. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh, boy, Charlie. Oh, are you happy now? Is that high enough? Yeah. Oh, uh, see your tail. Oh, you. oh, hang on. Oh, look at this tail. Oh, I'm stuck on my chair. This, <laughs> this is not a precision act. Not a precision act. Charlie, boy. Oh, what a happy guy. Oh, you are so funny. You are so, so funny. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is a riot. All right, chat room. This is great fun. This is just super fun. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. Regular old-fashioned giz fizz. Wow. It's a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Myra Joyce, Charlie the Dog, Jamma B, Bargain Basement Burke, 
Alex Gumpel, Beatmaster, Scooter X, Becky, Myra Joyce, BlackRock. And for BRF, Jim Reed, Mike B, Stooge, Giz One, number 33, Bill in Michigan, Roberto Hellman, Jim Tez, Bev, Magoo, Ranger Rick, Geek Wannabe, Doug M, Oznet, yes, Randy the Clown, Okaroo, and Chumley Production. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not just for turtles anymore. Hey, chat room, this coming week, Giz Fizz, a uh, Giz Whiz is on Wednesday. Okay, Thursday night, there's a big anchor uh, introduction of new products, and I'm going to that. So, Love Giz anchor Whiz. Love stuff. Love anchor stuff. Wednesday. Yo, anchor stuff is great. Anchor stuff is great. Uh, so, I'll see you Wednesday with uh, Chad. Bye. Thank you, Dick. That was great fun, chat. Uh, thank you. Jim Reed, thank you so much. This thank was super. And George, George, thank you. Fun times. That was it was great fun. Okay, bye. And thanks to all these people who went to the concert. Yes. <laughs> bye, Dick. <laughs> bye. All right. Oh, there's Leo's office. I have